hey guys so back again for another one um this one's a little bit different uh got a bit of a review here on a i guess you could call it a bundle um so this is the pack of packs from card crazy um that's a internet retailer i guess here in new zealand that's done a bit of a i guess a package up of this year's retail products and also thrown in some pretty cool bonuses so we picked up one um just to see what we'd get obviously with hopes to to crack a good bonus um, so yeah, I guess I'll give you the specs on it. Um, it's about, a, I think it's $149. Um, there's, there were a hundred boxes made and yeah, there were really cool things scattered throughout. So that's the packs just here. Um, there's a little bit of football in there, which is, is new to me, but I kind of like that little addition. So there's a couple packs of football and then a whole bunch of basketball. So the bonuses that were on offer, I think there were about four, um, super break repack products, which, are yeah, pretty cool. You can get graded cards and all sorts in there. And then there were Prism Hobby Packs. I think there was about two hobby boxes worth of Prism Packs scattered throughout. Um, some Select Hobby, same sort of deal. Um, there was definitely some Donruss Clearly, and there may have been some other things. But I'll pop up a little screenshot. Um, you probably already saw it um, with the, the sort of percentages and I guess your odds to hit those bonuses. Um, that was sort of what um drew us into it really like we've we've opened all of this stuff before um bar the football and hopefully some of the bonuses um but it was just a chance to i don't know hit a prism hobby pack or something like that get 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 lucky and hopefully pull something pretty cool so yeah um we'll do a bit of a review at the end in terms of what we got out of it but yeah it should be quite a fun rip so i'll just move things out of the way and we'll get in sweet so we've just moved the box out of the way and get into the packs i'm just going to run through what we what we have here and um yeah we'll see if we got a bonus so obviously, like I said, you've got a bit of football in there, Chronicles and Select. I assume that's out of a blaster. Um, yeah, football's pretty new to me, so we'll get those out of the way to start. And then the basketball. So yeah, I think, yeah, it's all from this year's draft class. So some draft picks contenders in there. So I'll just move those. Some standard contenders, just a fat pack. A hoops retail pack. It'd be cool to see if we're getting a slam out of any of these. Um, and a Hoops Fat Pack as well. Some Donruss, just a retail pack and a fat pack again. And then obviously like the higher end retail stuff was just some some prisms. I think one of these is a just a booster and one's from a blaster. But yeah, same sort of deal. And we were lucky enough to end up with a select hobby pack. So like we were saying earlier, one of the one of the bonuses probably top of the list maybe equal with the prism hobby pack in terms of what we were hoping to end up with so yeah pretty excited to see what comes out of that um obviously only five cards it's just the one pack so can't get our hopes up too high but yeah definitely excited to see what's in that um we'll obviously put that one at the back and crack into it at the end but yeah i'll just move everything into its place and we'll right so we just cleared up some space and we'll just bring the packs in from the side as we go um but we'll just tuck into some football to kick things off So yeah, there are actually still, as far as I'm aware, quite a few boxes left on the site. So yeah, I didn't touch on it earlier really, but um, yeah, Card Crazy, I think it's cardcrazy.co.nz, but if you just Google Card Crazy, you should be able to find it. And um, yeah, pretty easy to find from there. Um, should be under the NBA pack section. So yeah, if you like what you see, definitely recommend grabbing a pack. It's pretty pretty cool to get a chance at hitting something really really nice out of one of those bonuses and and even if you don't get a bonus you, you're more or less getting your money's worth so yeah definitely especially for guys just getting into the hobby or guys and girls getting into the hobby it's um yeah pretty cool option really so yeah forgive me i have no idea what i'm looking at when it comes to football but yeah chase young looks like a base chronicles rookie a cooper cup i don't think that's a rookie chronicles base again that looks that looks pretty cool. I think that looks like some sort of like Court Kings, um, you know how Chronicles has all sorts of products, for, you know sets and whatnot. That looks kind of Court Kings related, not numbered or anything, but yeah, Gridiron Kings. So that must be like the football equivalent. Looks like a pink parallel as well. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty, sorry, just need to pick up what I've put down. A Joe Burrow rookie that legacy that's a set that i've definitely not seen any of um, pretty cool though a chrome card so i know that there are chrome cards scattered through chronicles and basketball as well and is that old mate tour 
from the Dolphins. That's a nice card. I think that's the uh, just the base Panini set, but has a real cool texture going on, kind of like a Court Kings card. So I said I don't much know much about football, which is true, but I'm taking a fair amount of time looking at these cards just because, yeah, I, I had opened one of these before and the football cards were, like, something about them. They're just, that Chronicle set, quite nice looking. Cool textures and all sorts going on. So you'll have to let me know in the comments how well I did there. I've got a mate pretty close by who knows his football too so if I hit anything too impressive I'm sure let me know Cam Newton heard that name before that looks like a what do they call it is it a what do they call that in football is it a field side or field level so that must be something kind of cool Daniel Jones hot stars Josh Jacobs that's a pretty cool looking insert they should have um put that in basketball that's pretty nice. And a Jonathan Taylor rookie. That's pretty cool. So yeah, football select. Is that what the premier levels look like? Club level, same sort of deal. So yeah, um, <laughs> football out of the way. Um, I will get the basketball packs back on screen. But yeah, definitely a cool way to tuck into some football if you sort of don't plan on buying any in the future. All right, basketball time. Alrighty, back to it. So we've got the basketball now. Um, I'm a bit more in my depth here, so we'll kick things off with the contenders pack. Um, obviously not in the NBA unis, but I have hit something pretty cool out of this product before, so I've got a bit of faith that then we may, you know, you never know what, what could happen. I'll just burn through the base. See Arkham, Harden. All right, that looks like that's going to be the most notable card of the pack. Josh Green, front row seat. So it's sort of funny in the set, the rookies are kind of just found in the inserts. Um, there's a Josh Green and a winning ticket Bill Russell for the San Francisco Dons. All right. And then the last couple base prospect tickets of Aiton and Thompson. All right. Work our way through. Next, we've got a Hoops pack. I just noticed I've put the packs out of order, but we can we will rebuild. All right, Hoops Retail. Uh, we'll see that. Looks like it's just an insert. Get through the base. Jam Rant, second year. <laughs> Wendell Carter, looks like an insert. I've got a Tatum Lights Camera Action. I completed this set for no reason. Had to do, you know, felt like I had to have some reason to open more hoops. A Pritchard rookie and a Patrick Williams rookie. Put those there. There's not really going to be any oh, any pattern to my piles here. All right, I'm going to go hoops back to back. Fat pack. All right. Oh, Jesus. A lot of base coming up, but who knows? I'd love a slam hollow. Crikey. Cool. Alrighty, let's get through the base. Lonnie Walker. Alright, I will flip. I was hoping it would flip back round. Big dog, there he is. He can get he can jump in there. So yeah. Looking for a slam. Sort of a decent rookie parallel is also on the cards. That would be quite nice. Looks like we've got a purple coming up. Let's move those. Apologies, working with limited space. A purple of Zach Collins. Buzzy card, the old ball popping out of the camera shot there. A frequent flyers of Donovan Mitchell. And a Simmons vanity plates. Don't mind a bit of Simmons, but personally not a fan of these inserts at all. <laughs> I think they're a bit, a bit tacky. All right, a couple PC inserts in a row there. Simmons and Steph. And then we're into the rookies. Oturu, Winston, Jones. Quickly, Ant-Man. Not a bad rookie if you're going to look for your hoops rookies. And Sadiq Bay to finish. Like I said, really no. No pattern to these piles. Don Russ time. I can't really stop thinking about that select pack, but we'll get there in due course. Righty, Don Russ base. Oh, I've just ruined the pack. We know what's coming up. Michael Porter Jr., Schroeder, 
do, do, do. Oh, Kendrick Nunn, franchise features of Sabonis, another set that I completed, and then rookies, Isaiah Stewart, and Vassal. All right, Don Russ fat pack time. Still waiting for something notable here, but I'm definitely enjoying It's a good chance to just relive the products from the year too. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of base out of the way. Alrighty, James Harden, Culver. Alrighty, it's going to flip on us. Definitely let us know if you grab a pack or a you know a pack of packs. I'm pretty pumped to see what bonuses people end up with and you know what they hit out of there. Like I said, such a cool concept. Hopefully. We see more of it from the card crazy lads. Alrighty, I've got inserts. I've got a bit of colour and inserts and whatnot coming up, but still a bit of base to work our way through. Alright, so power in the paint, white side. I feel like I've pulled a fair few of these ones for some reason. Alright, jar, complete players. I think we've got a green and gold. Donovan Mitchell, it's kind of a colour match actually, green and gold for the Jazz there, not too bad, pop them to the side and then into our inserts, Okoro, Wiseman, Top Rook, what's that, Mays, Lee, Tyler Bay, alrighty, working our way through, Contenders Fat Pack, these are base heavy, High ceiling, but you know, most likely end up with a parallel and a an insert. I'll just get the base out. I really like the clean base design though. Trey Collins, Terry, CJ, and Dame back to back. A couple teammates hanging out together there. James Harden, Culver, Vlan Vliet. Oh, Vlan Vliet, that's not how you say it. Alrighty, surely we're up to the hits or whatever you call them. Oubre, Curry, Mitchell, Aldridge. Alright, that is a green parallel by the looks. Sort of only a subtle difference there. They're called game tickets and have a little bit of green sprinkled through. A game night of the champion Giannis. Ah, oh, yep, there we go, not bad. First bit of Halliburton action. This is effectively the base rookie of Contenders, and it looks like I've got a red foil rookie at the back there of RJ. That's pretty cool. So yeah, the red foils are numbered, pretty much identical. You've just got those little red sprinklings throughout. Cool, so we've made our way through that. We've got three packs left, um, all chrome goodness. So I'm not sure if this is the, looks like that's the booster pack, and that's the blaster. Cool. So, I mean, yeah, Prism can be pretty, you know, hard to hit anything too crazy. It feels like this year there was definitely a fair bit of it going around. Jeremy Grant, a rookie of Jemias Ramsey. Now, what do we have? It looks like. Now, <laughs> a lot of the inserts in this set are backwards, so it's most likely just an insert. We'll go from the back. Paul Millsap. To join his Nugget teammate. And I'm just going to flip it. Oh no, we'll get rid of Ramsey. Yeah, there we go. Maxi Emergent. So, good player, but just the base Emergent. So, nothing too crazy. It's a real troll having those backwards though. Because even, even that part there kind of looks like what the, the autos look like backwards. So, they definitely get the heart racing for a second. And then, yeah, you end up with an insert. Second to last pack. Blaster pack of Prism. And then we get into the Select. Feels like it's been a long road to get here. I think we may have a silver in this pack or a green. Bogdanovich. Got a green rookie. So that's exciting. We'll pull from the back. RJ Hampton. We'll chuck him over there. A green rookie. It's burgundy. I'm going to say that's either going to be Precious or a Coro. Precious. There we go. Cool. That's pretty, pretty nice. Um, yeah. Just the green retail parallel, but nice and shiny. 
Centrine's a bit whack, but a green precious. I think he's got a got a bit of a future, this boy. So we'll, we'll pop him there. Probably the card of the break so far. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. Now it's select time. There's all the treats we can find in there. Um, it is a thick pack, so no jersey card or RPA, but I guess there's only one thing left to do, and it's check it out. I would love some sort of numbered goodness. We've gonna, you know, we're gonna have select retail on its way, but there's just something about a hobby pack, you know, the potential. It looks like we may have a scope, but yeah, we'll just have to go one card at a time. Robinson select base, a rookie. Kenyon Martin Jr. Concourse base. So obviously, you know, Select Retail's got that blue parallel to it. So I guess you'd call it a hobby base rookie if you wanted to be particular. Um, it's a bonus base, just concourse level. I think that's a scope. It's hard to tell with the lighting. So I'm going to go from the back. Premier level Jarrett Culver base. So it's obviously just a subtle difference in the base design. And we've got a scope, and it looks to be a premier level. I don't really know where to to check from. I think I'm going the right way. Where's the rookie logo down the bottom usually? Yep. We have a scope, Kendrick Nunn, <laughs> second year, I guess. Scope, premier level, to be precise. Um, obviously, yeah, not numbered. I think these are like one or two a box. I could be wrong. Pretty cool parallel. Looks really cool under the light, but obviously not the massive hit we were hoping for, but Sort of feels like an honour, I guess, to open some hobby packs when you've um, only sort of paid for your retail. So can't complain too much. I think we'll do a bit of a tidy up and then we'll come back for a recap. All right, guys, just a bit of a recap here. Um, obviously, like we said, it's not all about the hits, really. Like, just the chance to end up with a, a pretty substantial hobby pack, I think, is is super cool. And um, the, the way it's been priced, um, I think it's obviously because there's a hundred boxes there, but it's, it's, you're not really, you're not really gambling too much to end up trying to hit one of those packs. So I think they've really struck a nice balance. Um, I'll run through the football because like I said, that's going to be something that, you know, we look into later, later down the road. So you've got some select sort of the, the court side, effectively Jonathan Taylor rookie really like the look of this hot stars, Josh Jacobs. So that was the. The football stuff and then the chronicles from football as well um, i know there's a few big names here tua cooper and then the joe burrow from legacy which i think is super cool looking card kind of reminds me of like the i guess the 2013 sort of <laughs> hobby box vibe um so yeah obviously chucks chuck some comments if you know your football but that's just that and then bit of an everything else pile from the basketball just run through it it is cool as well to open all of the products sort of at once i guess and you get to kind of yeah work your way through the releases and and stuff so i think that's kind of cool because obviously when you're opening up a ton of prism or a ton of hoops and whatnot you kind of get sick of the inserts and the parallels but yeah i don't know for me and it's sort of when you when you do it all together it's kind of a bit different and you kind of forget what sets are in the product and all of that so nah real cool stash there and then i guess yeah the highlights for the basketball side of things colored rookie so precious green kenyan martin base from select concourse um, the hobby exclusive scope sclo scope parallel from select of kendrick nunn second year i guess you could call it um, scope there and then yeah red red foil hampton halliburton from contenders as well a little bit of a color match mitchell there i think that's quite a cool card and then the number one pick ant-man hoops base rookie so yeah that's the recap once again i feel like i'm repeating myself but super super stoked with this product and the option um i guess for the new zealand market um i yeah grabbed one of the first boxes they did it was a bit cheaper and I think I got like an optic um, blaster pack as my bonus, which was cool because I hadn't opened that before. Um, and yeah, once again, getting select is pretty, pretty cool. And obviously you're not guaranteed that bonus, but the odds are pretty good. And like I said, even without it, you're still getting a fair, fair few packs to rip. So there's all sorts of angles there of why I'd recommend it. And, you know, it's worth giving it a go. So yeah, obviously we'll chuck the link in the description. Um, and yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff on the website there too, supplies and all sorts. So chuck a few things in your cart if you feel like it. Um, but yeah, thanks heaps for watching. Got another video coming up with 
some prism sallows managed to get a hold of some of these so we may do a little worth it part two with a few of those and yeah obviously mail days around the corner as well so thanks heaps for watching guys cheers